2x minus 3 equals 7. Now I'd like to get the bit with x on its own, so I want to get rid of the minus 3. I get rid of the minus 3 by adding 3, but because an equation is like a balance, I need to remember to do exactly the same thing to both sides. So I need to do 7 plus 3 as well to get 10, so 2x equals 10. But I don't want to know what 2x's are, I just want to know what 1x is on its own. So to get from 2x's to a single x, I divide both sides by 2. So when I divide both sides by 2, I get x equals 5. Three x plus five equals eight. I'd like to get the three x bit on its own. So I'm going to take away five. And I need to remember to do that both sides because an equation is like a balance. So taking away five from both sides, three x equals three. Now I don't want to know what three x's are. I want to know what a single x is on its own. So I want to divide everything by three. But because an equation is like a balance, I need to remember to divide the other side by 3 as well. So x equals 1. Five x plus 9 equals 24. I'd like to get the 5x bit on its own, so I'm going to take away 9. But because an equation is like a balance, I need to remember to take away 9 from the other side as well. So 24 minus 9 gives me 15, and 5x equals 15. But I don't want to know what 5x's are, I want to know what a single x is on its own. So I'm going to divide everything by 5, and when I divide both sides by 5, I get x equals 3. 4x minus 16 equals 0. I'd like to get the 4x bit on its own, so I want to get rid of the minus 16. I get rid of minus 16 by adding 16, but then I need to remember to add 16 the other side as well. So 4x equals 16, but I don't want to know what 4x's are, I want to know what a single x is on its own. So I need to divide everything by 4. And dividing both sides by 4 gives you x equals 4. 2x minus 4 equals minus 10. I'd like to get the 2x bit on its own, so I want to get rid of the minus 4. I get rid of minus 4 by adding 4, but I need to remember to do the same thing to both sides. So minus 10 add 4 is minus 6. So 2x equals minus 6, but I don't want to know what 2x's are. I want to know what a single x is on its own. So I need to divide everything by 2. And when I divide minus 6 by 2, I get minus 3. So x equals minus 3. 3x minus 1 equals 0. I'd like to get the 3x bit on its own, so I want to get rid of the minus 1. I get rid of minus 1 by adding 1, but then I need to remember to do the same thing both sides. So I get 3x equals 1. But I don't want to know what 3x's are, I want to know what a single x is on its own. So I need to divide everything by 3. And when I divide 1 by 3, I get a third. 10x minus 2 equals 18. I'd like to get the 10x bit on its own, so I want to get rid of the minus 2. I get rid of minus 2 by adding 2, but I need to remember to do the same thing both sides. So adding 2 to both sides, 10x equals 20. Now I don't want to know what 10x's are, I want to know what a single x is on its own. So I need to divide everything by 10. And when I divide both sides by 10, I get x equals 2.